Hi, this video will be a general instruction of how to update the Android Auto CarPlay module from Cremersino or InCar Solutions. First of all, you have to download a proper update to your box. In the description, you've got a link to the drive on which I created separate directories for the different models. They come from the box supplier, but I don't take any responsibility for anything that happens if you use them. Remember that you can always message the supplier directly and ask him to send you a proper update file. There were older and newer versions of the boxes, but the older ones are not sold anymore. However, many of you, like me in this video, might want to update this older box, so I cannot omit them. I tried to show differences between the two models in CD's file and I will update it whenever it is needed. Please always refer to this file, as the directory names might change in the future. The other factor is whether you have a globe or non-globe version. You have to be sure that the update is dedicated to the box you have. Don't install it unless you aren't. Now, prepare two pen drives. You can actually use one, but you will have to come back to the computer to change the files as the update is separated into two parts. The pen drives must be in FAT32 file system. If they are not, you have to format them and specify FAT32 format. And if you don't know what I am talking about, ignore it, as most of the pen drives are FAT32 by default. The update comes in two parts, the firmware, big file, and the MCU, small file. That's why you need two pen drives. The files from the bigger zip have to be extracted to one pen drive and from the smaller one to the second one. You can see the result on the screen. Now let's get in the car. It is best to turn the engine on, but it is not obligatory. The ignition is enough. Connect the pen drive which contains the firmware, so the one with bigger zip contents. Remember that you connect the pen drive to the modules part, not the car's USB. Let it be loaded and press OK whenever asked. Leave the pen drive plugged in. The process may take a few minutes. After the reboot, you still have to wait for another prompt. Again, press OK whenever asked. This time, when the system upgrade please wait is shown, unplug the pen drive. Now the firmware update is complete. Let's get to the MCU update. Plug in the second pen drive and press OK whenever asked. Wait for it to be finished and give it some time to reboot. You can check if it started by switching back to the modules interface by holding the exit button. Unplug the pen drive and you are done. You can check the version of the software in module settings. That would be all for me. Thank you for watching.